This week's tip video isn't answering just one question, but several questions we've been getting asked. We get a lot of questions about antique finish and our finish process in general, so I wanted to touch on that and run through the steps that I do. So this belt here, fully tooled on uh, Herman Oak Veg Tan Leather. Now, let's talk about what's been done to it so far. The first thing after I got done tooling, it sat and dried so the moisture is out of it. Next, I came back with uh, Phoebean's Black Pro Dye, and we dyed the backgrounds in here. Once those were dyed, immediately afterwards, I came back with 100% pure Neat's Foot Oil and put a nice heavy coat of that on there. That oil sat on there probably a half hour, maybe 45 minutes, and then we came back with Resoline. Now this is a great product and what I use this for is a resist. So that put a seal on this leather. Now we can come back with our antique. Now that resoline, we let that sit and dry for well over an hour. An hour you're plenty safe, but I had other stuff going in the shop so it's been drying for quite a while. Now we're going to come back with our actual antique finish process. So just a scrap of sheepskin that I that I keep with my jar here, but this is a medium brown antique finish from Phoebe's. You'll notice I have a glove on because it can get to be a little bit messy. But we'll get, get some gooped out of there. Now I'm going to work a little bit at a time, but I work in little circles here. I keep nice little circles and that's helping me get down in all the cuts and cracks and decorative cuts and all of our tool marks that we've put in here because that's what we're wanting to highlight but that resist is there so that now I can wipe that antique off the top of that and it will come off of our smooth leather everywhere that is not cut into Things that are up there smooth, we're gonna just get in here with this rag and get that antique back off of there. Now, why do I want to take all that antique off if I just put it on? Well, we want to leave the antique down in the cuts everywhere that we're wanting to pop and highlight, but if I leave too much antique, then later on that's when it's going to dry and crack out and flake off. So I want to make sure to get plenty of it out of there. But you can see all the detail that that really pops out there. So we'll keep working our way down this belt here and continuing to work that antique in in circles, making sure I'm kind of going back and forth getting in all those little cuts but the reason I'm working in smaller sections I'm not wanting to let that antique sit on there for too long because it doesn't really matter what you use for a resist if you leave that antique sitting on there too much you're just begging for it to break through that resist at some point um, so I can be way more consistent with my finish if I run shorter sections like this. So we work that out of there. And I'm happen to be using a rag right now. It's what I had uh, that came to the top of our of our bin here that we're using. Um, but one thing I really like to use is the uh, is a sock, like the inside of a of just your regular like tube sock. And it the texture on there works really good for grabbing that antique out of the backgrounds and where I want it out of. Our last little section to go, and what's really important is what we come with after this antique. That's kind of the, the big key here. And I also want you to see our dry time. That's why I'm not gonna fast forward or skip on this video here. I want you to see just how long we let this antique sit before I come back with another product. So I'll finish wiping this off this section here.
Okay, now that we got that antiqued, you can see it's picking up all those details that we want. We're gonna come immediately back now, just as long as it takes me to put the lid back on my antique is all the longer I let that sit. Now, if you let it sit longer, it's not the end of the world, you'll be fine. But we're gonna come right back over it with Resilene again. Now, how we do this is important. So I gotta, at this point, I gotta work a little bit fast because this stuff dries fairly quick. But I'm gonna come with a pretty generous coat on this. I'm gonna still work in probably about half of this belt at a time. Now with my blue paper towel, I'm gonna wipe right across there. Now that's gonna pull even more of that antique off of that smooth leather that we had to resist on to start with, so it resisted the antique going in there, but I don't wanna leave extra on there that kind of gives it a muddy look or uh, can wipe off on clothes or truck seats or anything like that. So we wanna make sure that our product is gonna last and hold up the way we want it to. So now I can get the next half of this here. Now, in addition to taking some of that extra antique off, what this is doing as well is it's mixing with our antique that's left down in those cuts and cracks and tool marks and things. And you'll see that it kind of looks a little bit milky and muddy right down in those cuts. That's a good thing. I want it to stay just like that. That's, again, that's that resiline that's mixed with that antique that's down in there. And now that can work together and actually seal that antique in there. And if you didn't leave too much antique to start with, now that little bit that's left and mixed in there is gonna seal in and stay in there and hold up to where you're not breaking and cracking and flaking out of there. So we'll let this sit and dry up and then it'll be ready to get stitched down to a liner and edge it off. So if you enjoy these uh, short, quick tips, be sure to check our other playlists on here where we have lots more videos for you. Now, all these products you can get individually off the website if you want them or these are all of our main core products that we've put into our uh, finish and color starters kit. So in that you get the Neats Foot Oil, you get, uh, it's a smaller jar, but uh, two different colors of your Pro Dye, a thing of Resilene, uh, and all the applicators that I, that I recommend for all that stuff as well. So uh, if you want, to, if you want to check that out, be sure to check the link in the description, uh, as well as more content, uh, free content in our playlists and courses and patterns for you as well. So appreciate you letting us be a part of your leather craft journey and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.